Hey people, so I'm gonna be building a version of my drilling rig. Um, the one I'm gonna be building is gonna use this drill over here, so five blocks tall. You could also make something more efficient, albeit slower, like this stupid thing over here. A uh, single drill head drilling a rather large diameter. But yeah, use any configuration you want really. Uh, just gotta adapt accordingly. Anywho, the drill head here is five blocks high. We can't really attach here, so we're gonna make a seven block tall stack to begin with. And we just gotta turn symmetry off. There we go. Alright, let's see. I wanted to attach at the seventh, so actually, this should be a rotor. And we have one there. Alright. Now I'm going to start with the actual tower uh, with the pistons. Now a section of pistons is going to be four blocks tall and I'm going to add two for the bottom and the top for attaching uh, stuff. So um, I've heard that every ore is down to about 100 meters so I'm going to make it able to drill down to 100 meters. And uh, yeah, we're gonna need two drills, no, not drill, uh, two piston sections for that. Um, yeah, 10 meters per section, 10 meters per piston, and five pistons per section, so that's 100 meters. So, let's see, yeah, we're gonna need, I'm gonna make four there, that was five, then another three, and then one for good measure. Uh, for basically for attaching the first section of pistons. There we go. And now it's basically just repetitive work of adding pistons. Do keep in mind that they should be pointing the same uh, direction not having pistons pointing up and some pointing down, then you'll just be moving in place. As opposed to the old, um, I think there was the previous drilling rig. Uh, I have the conveyors for the tower outside the tower. That makes me able to put five pistons per section instead of a finger was three or four. Yeah, I think it was four. Um, does not look as neat, but uh, what can you do? Alright, that's the first section done. Smart thing to do would probably be to... Oh yeah, it's important to put the extra one, otherwise we won't have space for the conveyors, conveyors for the next set of pistons. Um, yeah, I already forgot what the smart thing to do would be. What's that? What does that say about me? Hmm. Um, See, I have the little cube up in the corner, but I'm just not paying attention to it. Which I should be, it would probably be making my life a bit easier. Oh, I missed. Yeah, repetitive work. This took absolute ages on my, uh, the really big mine I made. Which was absolute overkill. I think it was safe to go to, well, several hundred meters at least. That was wrong. Was it though? Yes, that was wrong. Good. Gotta keep track. And. That is basically our piston sections. Alright. And yeah. Just gonna make it 
so we can put our rotor in the center and hope I didn't miscalculate. Uh, I did kind of miscalculate because I wanted to put that rail on, but that is five blocks wide and we only have, well we do have five blocks to work with if I did something like that instead, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so I'm gonna place a block here. Is that gonna be too tall? No, that's gonna that's gonna interfere, I think. Hmm. See I don't think we have enough space to lower it even further, do we? Well we do. It's just gonna be so flipping tall. Um yeah, I didn't completely think this through. So um, this is the results. All right. Yeah, I, I just like them stacked like this. I think it looks nicer. Guess uh, yeah. And uh, we could just make it a solid plug of drills. That would be faster. So if uh, resources is not an issue, then uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, this whole spinning thing does not have an efficiency increase of any kind. If anything, it makes the drilling process slower, but you can mine a bigger area with fewer drills, as this example over here demonstrates. But yeah, that's a drilling head, that's a drilling tower, basically that's drilling tower done. Um, now we want to have it... Let's see, yeah, we want to lay it down, so we got to check this rotor, and it is in, let's see, it's just make it move a bit, that's the wrong way, out of way, okay, so, max is 360 degrees, that makes it so we cannot move anywhere but to the top direction, and before we move down, we want to take all our pistons, and enable share inertia tensor. That'll tense up the, well, remove the floppiness from our drill tower. And I see we know that 360 degrees is the up, so down should be that minus 90 degrees, so it's 270. And let's just move that down. And there we go. Alright. So we can build our carriage for our drill tower. I see we need this two or three blocks high at landing gear is. I think it's two, yeah it's two. So we want that in that there position here. And let's just make it let's just remove that symmetry. Alright. Mm really doesn't matter which way it's pointing. Alright, there we go. So... Uh, do we want to use this space for... I mean, this extends all the way down to the ground from here, did it not? Or was it one block above? And reverse... Why is it not reversing? Why is it not moving? That's because we locked the landing gear. Alright. Reverse. Well, move. Alright. So that's going down there. That means that our wheels have to have that height. So the vehicle will need to have this height. And just cordon off the area where the drills will operate because we're not going to be able to build there. And I'm really overthinking this for some reason. So let's stop doing that and just place some stuff. Alright. See, it's going to be this tall. So. And here we go, continuing to overthink. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
See what I want to do. We want to connect those two. Can we do that at all? It all fall apart. We cannot. So do like this. Like this turn off symmetry and get a connection up to our rotor. So basically that's it connected, we can now mine and uh, yeah, so let's get some gears now, land gears, we, I mean wheels, we want wheels. Um, this is going to be really really wide compared to the other one, uh, I actually built this thing once before and it all turned into trash because... Um, because the drill head here is, funnily enough, really, really heavy. Um, so I was thinking about placing wheels back here, but I actually reconsidered the thing. I want to place the wheels. Um, yeah, let's move the car containers and do them like up here. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm going to counter the weight issue by simply placing some heavy steel blocks in the front. <coughs> and let's just make that make a bit more sense to us. There we go. Right, all connected up. So we are going to place some wheels here, somewhere, somehow. Um, yeah, let's remove that again. Now do one tree by tree, so five by fives. And that's a fake Facebook message. I really still have no idea how to turn off. Um, hmm, are those too small? Eh. Actually, I think we could do something like this to make it a bit narrower. Yeah. Could we do one less? Maybe. I think so. Yeah, the drill tower is not going to impact. Let's do that. I rather like uh, slim vehicles. Uh, large white ones are a pain to move about. Alright, it's not getting any slimmer than that. So that's the rear wheels. Let's place another set here. And uh, actually, I think that could do. Then a small cockpit out front. Maybe under a drill tower. Let's try it out. Uh, let's just lower the gears first. The gear, I keep calling them the gears for some reason. Um, Offset, there we go, straight a bit up. And I forgot to rename this. Alright. Mm, it ought to be one of these. They're all saying zero degrees, of course they are. <coughs> Alright. I think this was the one we were messing about with. It was. Alright, we're moving down and contact. So it's laying there, so we could easily just place a cockpit of some kind in the front here. Now do we want an open one, or do we want a closed one? Um, It's gonna be big anyhow, and we need the weight. Uh, we also kind of want a way to get down, I guess. Uh, I guess gonna make some stairs on the side here. All right. Mm. Yeah, I really shouldn't be. Me 
making details when I'm not done with the, 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 the thing. And no, that was renamed Pilot Control Station. So many options. Not sure what to do. That may be a bit excessive. the wrong size because we want something that is either one or three long. Alright, so I'm gonna do what? I don't know. That looks kind of cut pity. Uh, still haven't figured out how I'm gonna get out of this thing. I think it may be just one of those things where we are gonna. Well, I guess we could kind of do what? Nah. See, I was thinking I kind of wanted the walkway, perhaps, and like stairs down here, and I could, of course, just move the wheels a bit further ahead. Let's do that. And please fit. Could not be placed. Oh, that sucks. Um, what? Really? I forgot about the heavy armor. Uh, we need the heavy armor basically just because that. Um, that may provide a clearance issue. Uh, basically, because the drill tower is extremely heavy and I kind of neglected to make. Uh, secure and landing gears, uh, like with the, 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 the previous one. Um, I guess we could add them in the side. It's just gonna get really wide really fast. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna worry too much about that. Let's just test it out and see how it does. Alright, so about the wheels and the whole moving down front thing. thing. Um, I guess we could have some stairs down here maybe but then we're gonna break the block they're standing on oh this is turning out to be an issue anywho let's just make a quick save here and all right so uh, yeah I'm back um, well from your perspective I didn't go so yeah basically I built the, 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 the cabin here the thing I did wrong was that I disconnected the block holding on the drill tower and after that is done 
it is nigh impossible to get it back on, so I decided to reload. And yeah, so basically, I am building the roof of the cabin here from heavy armor blocks as a counterweight to the rather massive drill tower. Um, for some reason, I'm having a hard time talking and selecting the uh, blocks at the same time, some may argue I talk too much, some may argue I talk too little, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, but what I decided with myself is that I want to move these containers a bit back, and to do that I may have to secure this a bit better, so, what can we do here, if it's that, it's gonna kind of maybe get damaged when the drill tower goes up and down. Mm. Yeah, I think that'll have to do. And we have Simtrion, so I just build a pointless thing over here. Okay, I think we can hopefully... Let's just make sure the wheels are where they're supposed to be. They are. We have a reactor with enough. I'm just going to place a temporary reactor here because we're going to move the cargo containers. Now I should be able to let this go without it flipping out totally. So here we go. Oi! We have a ready rig. Right, so yes, moving the cargo containers and we have secured that up there so we should be able to take these away without too many issues. Alright. Uh, yeah, basically I wanted to wait to get out from here, so I kind of need a bit more space. And let's see, we're just gonna move them as far back as we can, I think. So, well, almost. Let's place them here. Can we do that? I think the gears are in the way. No, they're not. Excellent. That gave us a little bit of extra space. Uh, but also a connection issue with the whole power connect things. Let's just remove those again. Remove that. Place this there. And now we should be in a better position to connect up our conveyor system. And we have power, and we need to place a reactor. And I'm gonna place that where? It's a bit dangerous to place it there, I guess. We just need a single one, so I guess we could place it here. It's not the prettiest solution. Uh, a prettier solution would be to place it there, which we cannot. But I think we could have, yeah. We're just gonna have the conveyor system go through the reactor. What's the harm of funneling all our mining materials through a nuclear reactor? I really don't see the issue here. So, <coughs> right now we need a way to get down. Um, what would be reasonable? I mean, we could. In theory, just make it so that we have a little thing up here. And where do we have it there? And then we could lower down the thing when we want to get in. That would be a neat idea for a script, I think. Like, sorry for the tangent, but the, like a script for turning off the reactor, you push a button, it will lower the whole rig down, uh, basically raised land gears, raised wheels, and then turn off the reactor. That would be pretty neat actually. And then a reverse, it uh, turns on the reactor and raises it up. Hmm. Anywho, yeah, this seems this seems fine. I think this is fine. And uh, we just make a staircase here. There we go, I guess. Uh, it's a bit more spartan than my other build. It does not have a um, 
whatchamacallit, um, cloning bay I think, medical bay, I think that's medical bay, let's just add a bit more mass to the front here so we don't spin to our rears when we accelerate. Um, yeah, it's not the prettiest thing I've built by far, but it'll have to do. Also, I am not loving the asymmetry, but uh, yeah, kind of has to fit into that scope of the video as well, I guess. All right, so we can remove that thing there. Maybe add a detector. Where can I build that without everything going to crap? I guess we could make like this. Mm. Yeah, let's just see if it works and then set up the drill. Oh, that's a bit too much power and very heavy and rare. Um, yeah, I think it'll do for now. And head brake on. So, since we have 10 pistons, we can't just make it go at a meter per second or something, because a meter per second is 10 meter per second with 10 pistons. So, we are going to make a piston group. Piston is... I think with a rotating drill, um, we are able to... Do not save it go at about 0 0.2 meters per second, I think. So 0 minus 0 0.02 should be 0 0.2 meters per second in total. As for the rotor, uh, let's just call that something else, drill rotor. Uh, I think I came to the I experimented with it a bit and I can't remember my values. I think I came to the realization that about 5.5 .5 is the optimal for this size drill. So there we go on that. Let's turn that off. Increase the braking torque a bit so it won't just spin. And yeah, how much speed do we want on this thing? Let's make that. How is this? Oh. Right. So yeah, that's a pretty decent speed. So let's keep it at uh, nah, so need one. All right, I think. Oh yeah, the drills. We need the drills as well. So drills. Save. And I'm just gonna set up a few. Action groups here, well, not action groups, but uh, commands. So we got one for turning on the drills. We got one for reversing the direction of the tower. And let's see, where do we have the tower rotor? We have one for raising the tower up and down, so reverse that. We gotta have one for locking in. The tower one is down, and finally one for starting the drill rotation. Where is that at? Am I blind here? I guess I am. Alright, that's a lot of buttons, which I usually do with timer blocks are programmable, but I wanted to keep this kind of simple. Oh yeah, I did not include... Please don't crash. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really should include the pistons with the landing gear as with my old one because this is going to be wobbly and uh, very wobbly um, once it starts running. But uh, yeah, <coughs> let's just try it out. So that is unlocked. We are raising the drill tower. And parking brakes on. 
we are engaging the drills. I think they are going to hit the ground actually for some reason. Oh yeah, we are of course not as tall as we were because uh, we have gotten lowered down uh, a bit higher up than the wheel support. Alright, we gotta make the drill spin and we gotta make the pistons extend. There we go. I think that may be going a bit too fast. But uh, let's see how it goes. If it lifts the vehicle up, then we're going too fast. If it doesn't, then it's going just right. Yeah. That seems to be working just fine. Alright. Yeah, that's working just fine. Alright, well, that is uh, a basic little drilling rig. Uh, as you can see, the parking brake works just fine. Maybe they made the physics better, or my old brake was just unnecessary. That was also a big tower, so it may be that, but it seems to be running pretty stably. Um, yeah, so I've not a really, I've never really done a build video like this before. So uh, any feedback, negative or positive, is appreciated. If you want me to elaborate on some stuff you can do with timers or maybe even some basic programmable block scripts, I know it's not all servers and all worlds have run with those, but uh, I find them pretty neat. Um, but yeah, if you want to want me to elaborate on any of those, I'd be happy to. Um, as I said, yeah, you know. I'd be happy to uh, do that in a f future video or something. Anyhow, I think I'm gonna put the entire safe here in the description below if you want to look at the vehicle. Um, I have given up the hope of sharing these things on the workshop as blueprints because that does not seem to work very well. Anywho, uh, thank you for watching this, I think, rather long video and uh, see ya.